change of pace here. Uh, the Black Series, Grand Moff Tarkin. This is an archive, because this was, as you can see, which I'll go on a little bit. This was a re-release from the original figure that came out when the Black Series uh, was really starting off. As you can remember, uh, I'm not sure if you guys watched um, Star Wars. Spoiler alert, Grand Moff Tarkin was in Star Wars Part 1. <clears throat> all right all right so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and start off go ahead and turn this off so let's start off with uh grandma tarkin and as it says in the back the original figure as you can see this came out back in 2018 thank you very much guys for coming out into the live again we're just doing some uh, toy unboxings of some action figures we're trying to get up to 2,000 likes if you guys want to send in some uh, gifts that's totally up to you we do not require that all right so they, he comes with uh, that little um, droid that was in Star Wars part one that basically kind of like, you know, goes through the goes through the actual like hallways to confirm whether or not there are any people roaming around that's not supposed to be there. So let's let do like what we always do. We're gonna let them breathe. Let's uh, let's let's real quick. I'll unbox it. I wasn't really gonna do this with uh, this one, but I'll unbox uh, my other. Christmas gift was a retro collection Mandalorian. So this is the Mandalorian through the Star Wars retro collection Hasbro. It looks pretty good, you know, for the the scale for a three and a quarter inch figure, which is what the the actual Star Wars figures used to be when they originally came out from Kenner before uh, Kenner was bought out by Hasbro. Uh, now they decided to go back to this little retro collection where it almost looks like that what they normally would have from the original Kenner line So Mandalorian is one of the best shows that Disney has put out as of late um, Although a lot of people say that the last season what is wasn't as good as the previous two I uh, Actually disagree. I thought it was pretty badass can't wait for the new season to come out and it comes with his blaster his little rifle that he started out with and as I said I just unboxed this black series so you can see obviously so there's the black series a lot more scale six inches and then there's the retro collection three and a half three and a quarter uh, inches so that's pretty cool not really much you can say, but I do love the, the soft goods that they got with this little KP. does come with his rocket, his rocket pack, but it does not, it does not come off. Whereas the, the black series, the one that I just showed you guys, the, you can put in, put on his cape without the rocket pack or just with the rocket pack. So it all depends on what you want to do. Yeah, you can say so. So I I really like this figure, but I what I want them to do in the future is make something like this, but he has Grogu with him. So like a little set that's him and his Like Range a two pack Rover. retro collection. Yeah, like a Range Rover with Grogu with him like that. Or they could make like a Funko Pop and do the little thing where they um um, Grogu keeps pressing the buttons in the ship. Oh, yeah. And he's telling him no. Yeah. If you guys are parents, you'll know how frustrating that can be when your kids keep doing stuff and you keep telling them, no, don't do that. And they keep doing it. Um, I found that very hysterical when I, when I was, uh, watching the series. So, this is definitely going to be into my retro collection that I have. So, I'm going to 
he, he I, I don't know if he's gonna be a fronter, but he's definitely gonna be like near the front for sure. All right. All right. So this particular Grandma Tarkin, again, was in Star Wars Part 1. Or actually, I should say uh, Episode 4, because that's how it was initially noted in the film. So I believe he's an admiral, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me if I'm wrong. You know, let me know in the comments if I'm, but I believe he's an admiral. And like I said, he comes with this little security droid that roams the halls. So we all remember that particular droid. Um, it is kind of stiff. It was, it's been in the upstairs in the cold. So it's kind of stiff, but it does have a lot of uh, articulations in the knees. It also has um, articulations on the ankles. This is actually made by Hasbro. Oops. always guilty of uh, dropping something and so he basically uh, answers to Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader he doesn't come with any weapons he does have uh, the articulations in the shoulders and in the elbows you can see there these are pinless joints which I totally totally love I mean, it's not a big issue but I know that uh, as action figures do you know uh, improve over the years uh, we no longer see the pins in the, in the joints anymore. And definitely, I mean, he's not a fronter. If you guys are not really big collectors and don't know the uh, the lingo, when we say fronter, that means you, he goes in the front of your collection. So he's not necessarily a fronter, but he's not a backer either. He's probably going to be somewhere in the middle. Um, I'm going to have to look into my collection of my Black Series to see if I can put him somewhere where he's visible but he's pretty cool I, I was eyeing him for a while he was at uh, actually one of our uh, Ollie's Ollie's is a bargain outlet store where you can find tons of great stuff I'm not sure exactly if they're nationwide but I know they in the uh, east coast where I am in Albany New York you can definitely find one of these uh, figures at an Ollie's and whatnot Why is it playing, like, <laughs> Tokyo Drift stuff? This is supposed to be, like, non-copyrighted music so I can have something in the background. Um, but, yeah, so essentially the... Oh, this is a remix. The actual sculpt of his face is actually pretty spot on, I gotta tell you. So... I would say if I had to do maybe some gripes, I would say his uniform has to be a little darker. They were pretty dark in the, in the film. And of course, we all know the line, you know, you know, Governor Tarkin, I should have known you were on board. I smelled the foul stench when I was uh, brought on board. And his reply would be charming to the last. So, but we all know he got his comeuppance at some point. Hey guys, welcome to, to the live. Thank you guys for joining in. Just going over this um, Grandma Tarkin. Now, I generally, I try to stick within the, the first trilogy, but I'm not opposed to getting um, any of the figures from the prequels. Um, the only thing that I have from the last trilogy was a captain phasma that's pretty much it um i would get the old luke skywalker guy uh but i'm not so sure i mean i mean if it comes and if it's like a good deal i i won't say no but i mean i saw this particular grandma talking um in ali's uh, and so basically Santa must have been hearing me that I've been wanting to get him, but just never pulled the trigger when I got, when I saw him in front of me before. Uh, 
which makes me want to go ahead and possibly go and find the original possibly you know keep that mock uh so for those of you who don't know what mock means if you're not part of the the lingo of action figure collecting that means mint on card it means you keep them in the box like so i'm a i'm a mint on card guy uh or mint in boxes for for funkos mint in box for funkos i i keep them in the in the box uh which actually I might go live later on tonight to see which how many you know because I have to make some cuts of my Funkos and trade them in. There's a place that's called Heroes Hideout on the East Coast where I live. Uh, it's an owner is a pro, uh, it's a good friend of mine. I've actually used to work with him. Uh, they allow you to uh, trade in your Funkos and they give you you know pretty decent trade value. You can use it in store or they you know they give you cash. But um, I'm just gonna use it as an excuse to get more Funkos and. Um, you know some more uh action figures because he does sell action figures there as well in one second i just want to try to get some uh good music here there we go i don't want to get hit with copyright so but uh, i like it i like this a lot um so I'm going to put this to the side and go to the next one. I actually just, if you guys go on to our YouTube channel, I just unboxed the uh, this C-3PO and Mandalorian. And uh, so that's going to be on the channel soon. I did that as a live uh Oh, no, actually, I already been, it's already on the YouTube channel. So go ahead and check that out. And it's going to be on the YouTube channel um, for a while. But uh, I did this as a live TikTok unboxing as well. Uh, so check that out. All right. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> 